you want to become a better communicator? Is that right? Okay, okay. Well, you can, but you gotta listen. Pay attention, and I'll take you there. Who am I? I'm your platform partner, your hustling homie Jackson, all about helping you take the action that you need so that your communication skills can bring you millions in return. This video, let's talk about the question that I've been asked, which is how can you become a better communicator by watching other speakers, trying to find your voice, finding your style? Well, first I want to say make sure you like and subscribe to this video subscribe to the page like the like this video we got to do it and also if you want more information tune in to this channel i'm going to be uploading a lot more videos but let's stay on topic there is a difference between talking and speaking talking and speaking you see most people can talk Talking is just you opening your mouth and you just have words coming out and hey, let me tell you what I think and uh, and then someone else says, well, let me tell you, I think this and now you got a lot of people talking. But to speak, when you're speaking, that is an art form. That is to open your mouth and communicate a message with intention, with some strategy, with some skill. That means you can develop your ability to speak. Yes, you can become better of a speaker. And when I say speaker, this is on stage, this is broadcasting yourself on video and speaking in front of small groups. Yes, you can. So there is an art to speaking. Any art is subjective, meaning you, I can hear one speaker and say, this is the greatest speaker on the planet, and you may hear him and say, yeah, he's good, but I got somebody else who's better, because it is an art to it. It's not just use these techniques. And for example, have you ever been somewhere and you heard a speaker, somebody was on stage or they was talking to you, and everything they said made sense. It all added up. You say, ooh, this person is a good speaker. Ooh, this makes sense. I like what they're saying. But at the end of what they were saying, you still did not do what they were trying to get you to do. The call to action they gave you, you still didn't take action. Usually, it's because there's a disconnect there on the art of speaking. Maybe you guys weren't connected. Maybe the they had all of the technical stuff right. They had all of the, those things right, but they did not have the connection right. So that's what we'll talk about is more of the art and how you can find your own voice. And what I wanna share with you is it's okay. In fact, I want you to imitate some other speakers for the next, I would say, 21 days. For the next 21 days, here's a homework assignment I wanna give you. In fact, we're not gonna call it homework. Let's call it an action step you're gonna take. So the next action step is I want for you to find a speaker that you want to imitate somebody that when you hear them, you say, man, I would love to speak like that. Now, it could be a comedian. It may be a comedian that's very, very funny. It may be a pastor, a minister that is very inspirational. Or it can be an influence and a YouTuber that just has a bunch of energy and makes you go, oh, wow, you know, I'm excited. Oh, yeah, whatever it may be. You want to find somebody who has the type of energy that you connect with and you can say, you know what, I can speak like this person. And I want you to imitate that person. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. Most artists and musicians, they imitate other people. They do it constantly. And especially when you're brand new to developing a skill. When you first start playing basketball, you want to watch a basketball legend or a great. Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and you want to start dribbling like them and shooting like them until you can later develop your own shot. So do the same thing with speaking. I want you to find another speaker. It could be now I can suggest some of my favorite speakers. Let me give you an idea of some of the people that I used to listen to when I was first getting started with imitating people. So one person was um, it was a guy that was in my network marketing company. His name was Steve Carter. He was a salesperson 
And Steve had this ability to talk to a crowd of 5,000 people and he, everybody would listen. Everyone's paying attention and at the end, they would pay this man $2,000 each because he could just have the ability to persuade people. And so I would say everything he said and I would talk with the same tone and the same cadence. And eventually it got to the point where I was up there straight and like a little Steve Carter clone. And then I recognized, I said, okay, I don't want to sound just like Steve. I also want to be funny. I don't want to just persuade people, but I want to crack jokes. So I started looking at other comedians that were funny, whether it be Dave, like Dave Chappelle. And I started using some of Dave Chappelle timing and his delivery. Um, then I found myself looking at listening to people like Louis Farrakhan. And when I started doing like Farrakhan, I was like, you know, screaming and yelling. I was like, okay, hold on, you know, and it worked for a while. But then I thought, you know, but the more I got better because I knew what, because see, here's the thing about speaking. Most of the fear that people have, the fear only starts before you start speaking. Once you get started, the fear leaves you. So the reason why you want to duplicate other people at the beginning is because that, that's a starting point to get you going. They're going to give you the energy and the confidence just to go on a stage, come up with your content, come up with your tone. Now that's the less you got to think about. So now all you now that you don't have to think a lot, you can just go up there with your confidence, start spitting and speaking like you're a person you're emulating. And then from there, you get comfortable and you can boom, 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 boom in that order. Into the room. Boom, boom, boom. As I enter the room. So that's what I want you to do is I want you to find a, a speaker that you really respect. Uh, I used to listen to Joel Olstein, Pastor T.D. Jakes. I mean, all types of people. And of course, it depends on the type of crowd that you're trying to appeal to because the speaker has to meet that. I want you to find a speaker and not just find them, but I want you to listen to this speaker speak once per day for seven days in a row. You got to listen to them. And, and, I, and that once per day, I mean, I'm talking at least like 10 minutes. Just let them spit for 10 minutes. And I want you to do it when you wake up or when you go to sleep. So that you can kind of get their style, mimic their style. And I want you to do a video where you purposely emulate them. But I want you to say whatever your message is. So we'll do that and we'll build from there. This is a great skill. Again, this is something you're only using to get yourself started. You're not going to be speaking like another person for the rest of your life. This is just introductory level and it's also a fun exercise to do because you get to you know uh, build up your confidence muscles so with that being said i look forward to seeing you at the next video make sure you like and subscribe to the page and yes i'm your platform partner your hustle homie jackson all about helping you take action make sure you get that book series as well the shut up and hustle book series the links are in the description and below i look forward to seeing you at the next video also make sure you sign up for that uh, that speaker's boot camp that we got coming up and 